What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Parahead Picker coming at you guys today with another edition of Making Money Monday. This is volume 65. Uh, this will be uh, the clothing and shoes and possibly a Poshmark uh, sales update. Um, I think I'm going to show maybe around 50 different clothing items, um, some shoes, stuff like that that I sold over the past month. Um, this is a follow-up to um, Making Money Monday, Volume 64, uh, that I just put out, which was um, Hard Goods and Hats. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check that one out. Um, like I said, I've been kind of away for about the past couple of months. I'm trying to do a little catch-up video of just some of the items that I've sold over the past couple of months. I've been just selling off a lot of my old inventory. Um, some of the stuff is some newer things that I have picked up that I did get listed right away. Um, just been playing catch-up and what have you lately. So anyway, guys, uh, we'll jump into it, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I sold over the past uh, about two months. So anyway, here we go. Uh, you guys know I love selling Harley stuff. Uh, if you did watch uh, Volume 64, you've seen I sold all kinds of Harley uh, hard goods and what have you. I um, love picking up Harley shirts, uh, button front shirts, um, all different sorts of, uh, you know, just Harley items. Um, they always sell really well for me. Um, but I do like to find um, unique and a uh, little different items maybe than what everybody else is uh, picking up. I will tell you kind of why I picked them up and maybe what draws me to those items um, to kind of help me sell them. But anyway, um, this shirt here, um, I think this is the third shirt. This is the third time I've sold this exact shirt. Well, this exact style shirt. Um, I think I've picked this up three different times. Um, it always sells pretty well. Um, this is probably the lowest I've got for it. I think usually I get around forty-five, close to almost fifty dollars for this. But this was a oh, this was a large. Okay, I thought I had a little smaller one, but just a really nice Harley shirt, all solid red. It's got the 1903 on the front, all embroidered. Um, the back's not crazy, but you know it's got that nice back graphic on it and what have you. So it's kind of how I do my pictures. I've been doing a lot of my pictures with uh, insets on them, especially if they have uh, back graphics and stuff like that. Just so that way, when you're looking at the lead photo, you get a kind of an idea of um, that there's a front and a back um, to these. Um, especially I like the Harley tees and stuff like that. Um, I tend to do that. Or with just regular polo shirts and stuff like that, you guys will see that. I do kind of a quarter shot of the, of the front of the polo shirt and then I'll show like in the little insert um, the whole shirt where it kind of looks where you can tell whether it's a short sleeve, long sleeve, um, that type of thing. So anyway, uh, that was first. Um, this one here is just really nice, Tommy Bahama. Um, you know, I haven't been getting as much out of the Tommy stuff. The market's kind of, obviously, I mean, everybody knows it's really saturated. I'm um, not getting near the money out of these that uh, we used to, but I did like this one because it had the zipper. Um, you can see right there, it's got the, the zippered neck instead of the buttons, but this is what I was talking about where I do a quarter shot of the shirt, um, and then I'm putting the inlay um, in the bottom like that. So you guys can still tell that it's a, it's a short sleeve polo shirt. Um, but you know, the, the Tommy Bahamas with the big Marlins on the chest, that's what you want to keep an eye out for. Those always do really well. Um, zoom in on that. There, you can kind of see in the bottom there, the, the Marlin embroidered, um, if it has the Marlin then. Definitely, definitely uh, keep an eye out for those. It's just another Tommy Bahama 2349 free ship. Um, this one's actually even linen, so um, and I don't know what's. Oh, this is a size small. So this was a little bigger shirt. I would have definitely asked a little bit more. Linen's always good, especially 100% linen uh, in the summer. Um, you know, definitely keep an eye out for linen. It's Patagonia. I don't run across many Patagonia shirts in my area, but when I do, they usually sell pretty well. Um, this one went for 32.49 and sold relatively quick. Um, I don't know if this had, uh, no, this was an offended back. Um, another Harley shirt. This is like a sleeveless vest, denim vest. This was really nice. This went for 38 bucks. Uh, you know, it's all embroidered on the back. This sold super fast. Um, you guys kind of get an idea. Just a nice, really nice looking uh, vest. I have one more of these. I haven't got around to listing. It is a little sun faded. Um, on any of the Harley items that have any kind of fading on them, whether it's t-shirts, uh, jackets, vests, whatever. Um, I will use in my item description that the item or shirt, jet, whatever, has been in the wind. Um, just kind of lets them know that uh, it's definitely not something that some posers had or whatever. Um, you know, you, some, some guys are real picky on that, you know. Um, some guys like really nice, new, pristine stuff, and other guys, you know, they don't want to look like a poser. They just want something that just looks cool. Um, it isn't like, uh, you know, that they just bought it off the off the shelf. They've had it for a while. So um, I will use the, the words uh, in the wind on um, some stuff that has a little bit of fading or stuff like that. So it's, you know, just got a little bit of sun. And so instead of using sun faded, uh, I just use in the wind. Uh, you know, guys that ride, they, they, they know what that means. 
Um, this here is about one of the only American Eagle items that I will pick up, and I only pick them up in the large sizes. Um, this is a double extra large, and this is the vintage fit pearl snap. Um, and I use Rockabilly um, in the title, but this is a really nice shirt. Um, you can see this, and I really like the color and stuff like that, but it's got the nice pearl snaps. Um, I think I got a tag. Yeah, it says the vintage fit. So I usually get vintage fit, um, you know, pearl snap. And then, like I said, rockabilly is a really good keyword to use. I did. I only got eighteen forty nine out of that free ship. Not crazy, um, but they do sell pretty decent. Um, you can usually squeeze a little bit more, but you gotta be kind of careful with it. Uh, another pearl snap shirt. You guys have been following me any length of time. Um, I love uh, these Wrangler shirts. I cannot believe the money I get out of these. Typically, uh, I've been getting about twenty four dollars out of Wrangler pearl snaps, uh, but I only pick these up in talls, like two X tall. Um, or bigger, but or you know, 3x, 4x, 5x. They have a lot of these in, in super big sizes, and they sell really well. And I usually always get about 24, 25 bucks out of them. Uh, it's just a nice short sleeve, uh, you know, pearl snap, just Wrangler shirt. Nothing crazy. 23.49 for ship. Um, and these are really super lightweight usually because they're kind of like a real thin shirt. Uh, just a nice pair of LL Bean slacks. Um, these are wool and cashmere. Got 24 bucks out of those. Um, actually, I ended up picking up two pairs. I think that was the last pair of those that I had. So, uh, and I think I got them on like uh, Goodwill's like dollar fifty day or something. So I think I only paid like a buck fifty for these pants, which is amazing price for uh, you know a nice pair of uh, wool and cashmere slacks. This is a really cool shirt. Just old Beatles tie dyed um, shirt. I got eighteen forty nine out of this. I probably could have got a little bit more, but I had a couple little stains on it, which I did note it. Um, it's a liquid blue shirt. Oh, this is double extra large. Um, actually, I think I even wore this once. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually wore this. It was just kind of a cool shirt. Um, got these at a garage sale. This is a really nice pair of L.L. Bean pajamas, just cotton pajamas. Um, this is where I use that insert to show the uh, the top and then uh, that come with the pajama pants. But yeah, it's just a really, really nice pair of pajamas. I paid $3 for these at a garage sale. Um, they were in really good shape and condition, so I scooped them up. Those went for $29.99, and I made the buyer pay shipping. So, really nice return there. So, Green Bay Packers, just short sleeve, uh, kind of like a rayon Hawaiian shirt, double XL. I uh, got $23.49 out of that. Really kind of cool shirt. Um, this is a really good brand. Um, I don't find these very often, but they usually sell pretty well. You can get a little bit more money for these and some of the other items, not as many of them out there, um, but it's carbon to cobalt, um, just a real nice polo shirt, um, I'll show you what the tag looks like guys, you guys keep an eye out for it, but that's what the tag looks like, carbon to cobalt, um, really good brand. It's a really nice jacket, um, I think my wife actually found this jacket and uh, she brought over to me this, just a women's uh, Loren by Ralph Loren, this is the Marine Supply Company, it's kind of like a heavy rain jacket, it's got these, check these clasps out on it, these really cool uh, metal clasps, um, I don't know if I got a picture of the, the tag, yeah I do, but it's Loren, it's the Marine Supply Company, um, really nice, uh, I got $44.99 uh, on that plus buyer paid shipping, so not bad little return, I think I paid $5 for that jacket. Another really cool shirt. Found this at my local Goodwill. Um, this was, uh, I believe, $3.99. I couldn't pass this up. Just a really cool Bud Light Hawaiian shirt. I think this sold in a day or two of me listing it. It's extra large. Just really cool. Uh, I, I wish this would have been a double extra large. I'm not a Bud Light drinker, but it's just cool, that shirt. So uh, definitely really neat. And like I said, I got a $28.49 out of that. So not too bad. A uh, nice pair of Tommy Bahama shorts, um, or these are swim trunks, I believe. Yeah, these are swim trunks. I think I've sold almost every single pair of swim trunks and shorts I've had this year. I think I may only have like three or four pairs left in my inventory. I picked up a bunch of stuff earlier in the year, got it all listed early, and I think almost every single item has sold. Uh, this was a great find. Um, I got these at a garage sale for a dollar or two dollars. I think I got these for two dollars. These are new with tags, Levi's. Um, these are I got thirty six forty nine plus me the buyer pays shipping. I could not believe it when uh, asked gal but she wanted. She goes, I don't care. They're my boyfriends. Uh, just give me two bucks, and I'm like sold. Uh, that was I was super happy with that. Uh, another pair of jeans. It's just a pair of Orvis jeans. Some uh, relaxed fit. Just a nice little pair of Orvis jeans. Uh, you guys all know 
get you to know Orvis, so tags look like, or some of the tags, but uh, they sell usually sell pretty well. Um, yeah, twenty six forty nine plus shipping. Really nice uh, Harley shirt here. I really, really thought I was going to get this back because for whatever reason, this is a 2XL, uh, like a quilted thermal pullover type shirt. Um, I don't know why you guys can see this, but anyway, the sleeves on the, there, you can kind of see it in the back there, but it's uh, kind of like a, yeah, just a different type of uh, shirt. But the, the sleeves on this sucker, I believe, were like 38 or 39. They were super long. Now, when I measure sleeves, um, this is a little chart I use. Um, you guys see how I measure sleeves. I measure from the center of the collar to the cuff. Um, that's the proper way to measure a sleeve. Um, so that's how I do it uh, for all my listings. And I always show this little guide uh, for all my shirts and stuff like that. Um, if you guys do follow me on Instagram, I believe I have a copy of this on Instagram. You guys can steal if you want. Use it in your own listings. This is not mine. Um, I found it somewhere and I thought it was great. And just a nice little item that I use in all my uh, listings. Just kind of shows how I measure. Um, and then I use those measurements um, in all my listings. So really nice uh, shirt here. I got $38.49 on that plus buyer paid shipping. So Real nice, uh, real nice find there. Just a nice Carhartt shirt. I think I picked this up on dollar fifty day or one two three day. I've had it for just a little while, but it's XL tall. Um, that's kind of the reason I grabbed it. Just a real nice shirt. Um, you guys all know Carhartt, but talls always do well. Got twenty three forty nine out of that. Another Tommy Bahama, um, basically real similar to that black one that I showed earlier. I got twenty six forty nine out of that. Um, basically, I just asked a little bit more for this one because of the color. Um, same size, you know, it's extra large, but you know, it's got the uh, the marlin on there. It really stands out. But essentially, it's just same type, uh, same type of shirt. Uh, another really nice item. This here is just a Harley Davidson, um, kind of like a little baby. Uh, was it what zero to six month? A uh, little jean jacket, uh, onesie, pair of jeans, and a do rag. Um, yeah, this thing this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, got all this stuff. I paid five dollars for this. Um, I believe I got these at a garage sale. Um, they came in a big display box. They had a big Harley Davidson barn shield, a uh, huge box. The box was humongous. Um, there was no way I was going to be able to ship this, so I took everything out and uh, I did a little display like this. And uh, we sold that for thirty-seven forty-nine. I was able to ship it for uh, first class, so that was great. Otherwise, this thing would have got it. Probably would have been oversized. It, it was a humongous box. Ah, this is a really cool shirt. Um, this is a Duluth Trading Company. Um, some of the Duluth Trading Company stuff, uh, keep an eye out for. I don't pick it all up. I just pick up some unique stuff. Uh, but this one was really cool. Um, I think I featured this in a um, haul video. Um, I think it was like on a Goodwill one dollar fifty day or something like that. But it was a really cool shirt. I think I got this for a buck and a half. Um, so I sold it for eighteen forty nine. But it was really cool because it's got the uh, everything's better in the buck. You know, it's got the little Duluth Trading Company guy on there, like a stripper pole or whatever. I just thought it was really awesome. This shirt actually sold, I think, in less than a week. So it went really quick. This is a uh, really nice uh, little item here. It's just a little purse. I guess it's not clothing, um, but it was something I didn't include in the uh, hard goods. Um, and I guess the purse is not really hard goods. So, uh, But yeah, I got this really nice uh, Disney purse. I think it has yeah, sequins on the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, just a nice little purse. Um, I don't typically typically pick up a lot of purses. I think this is one my wife found, and she was like, "Hey, this is pretty cool." Um, I think we paid four dollars for this, sold for thirty two ninety nine plus shipping. Uh, this is really nice. Uh, this is a Guinness Rugby. Rugby's always do well. This was new with tags. I got forty eight forty nine plus uh, shipping. So yeah, it was really. I was really happy with that sale, and I think I paid four dollars for this shirt. So, super happy with that. Uh, okay, this is you know, like I said, I like picking up Harley stuff, but I like finding unique stuff because um, that's the stuff that sells. You know, everybody's got a closet full of black Harley tees. Um, you know, this one here is actually dry fit, um, and I think I featured this in a haul video I did here a while ago. I got thirty-seven forty-nine for that. Um, you know, just really, really, really awesome shirt. It's got that neon on it. It's long sleeve, but it's like a long sleeve dry fit. It's like all 100% polyester. Um, yeah, just a really, really cool shirt. Um, yeah, it's 100% polyester. So really awesome shirt. You know, this type of stuff that people look for, the, the oddball stuff. Uh, just a nice Orvis shirt. You know, 
uh, just short sleeve, more of a shirt, uh, purple plaid, nothing crazy, 2349. Um, this one here is the Under Armour um, Wounded Warrior Project. The Under Armour Wounded Warrior Project stuff usually does really well. I like to pick that stuff up. It's always a good keyword to use. Um, you can say use Wounded Warrior Project and WWP. Um, but yeah, it has the, the flag on the on the sleeve lane. So really nice uh, polo shirt. Got twenty three forty nine on that. And I think I paid four dollars for the shirt. Um, I love LL Bean. Um, you guys, you guys watch any of my videos for any length of time? You guys notice I do pick up a lot of LL Bean. Actually, today or not today, yesterday, um, Sunday when I was out, um, our Goodwill just had a color change. Uh, I was able to run over there real early. I've had my eye on some LL Bean jeans. Um, I think I picked up six pair of LL Bean jeans. The color change finally went, and no one has grabbed them all week long. So I got them all for, I believe, $2.50 a pair. And I got like six of them. So I was super happy to get those. Those usually sell pretty well. I, mean, I should be able to get $20, $25 out of those jeans. So great return on a $2 investment. Uh, but I did pick them up today. But this is a nice LL Bean uh, cashmere and cotton quarters at pullover. You know, it's really nice. Uh, a really nice pullover. I went for yeah, like I said, twenty four ninety nine plus uh, buyer paid shipping. Um, this is a really nice uh, vintage Nike T shirt, Minnesota Twins, new with tags. You can see it has the older Nike tag. It actually, has a tag. Uh, you know, Nike stuff anymore doesn't even have tags. But uh, yeah, so it's got the hang tags. Nice, just ringer T shirt. Um, that went for uh, twenty four bucks. Another Tommy Bahama shirt. Uh, 2349, nothing crazy. Um, buyer gave me really nice feedback, so love the shirt. Okay, um, I had this in a haul video. I actually picked this up, I believe, for uh, man, I'm thinking I got this for a dollar fifty. I, I know this is in a haul video, so I know I told the price in there, but I believe this was a dollar fifty. I might have paid just a little bit more. Um, but this here is Ralph Lauren uh, RLX. Um, the RLX line of Ralph Lauren is really hot. Um, it's kind of their more trendy line. With the, the younger people really, really like it. So, um, and I think all the RLX stuff actually says RLX on it um, somewhere. Um, I don't find it hardly ever. I think it's about the third or fourth piece. But uh, whenever I do find it, it sells super, super fast. This is a 3X big, um, which was another win. Um, you know, find this in a 3X big. I think this shirt sold the day I listed it, maybe the second day, but I got $44.49 out of that. Great price for a used polo shirt. So, but this is like their performance, uh, it's a performance polo shirt. Okay. Uh, this one here is just another one of those unique Harley items. This is Jay Springsteen. Um, he's like a, uh, motocross racer, not motocross, but uh, I think he does like dirt track racing or something like that. Um, I believe he's, he was like the number one rated rider um, for a while, but anyway, he rides Harley. Um, this is also a dry fit shirt, um, and this is from Las Vegas Harley Davidson. But yeah, look at the graphic on this. This thing is really, really just an awesome, uh, uh, awesome shirt. So I try to take really, really good pictures of this. I think I might have even put this up on my Instagram when I got this. I've had it for a little while, but I held out for some pretty good money at Las Vegas Harley Davidson. Um, yeah, I went for forty-eight, forty-nine, and this shirt actually went to the global shipping program. So a uh, guy gave me feedback, loved the shirt, um, and like I said, this is a pretty rare shirt. So super happy. Like I said, uh, you know, I don't pick up every Harley item or every Harley t-shirt. Um, there's so many of them out there. I'm very, very picky about what I pick up. But when I do pick up stuff, you know, I mean, it's usually stuff that I'm going to make some pretty good money on. Um, this here is another really good uh, sale I had. This is a uh, vintage Banana Republic um, fishing photographer safari type jacket, outdoor um, or vest. Uh, I got fifty six forty nine dollars out of that plus buyer paid shipping. You know, just a really cool vest. Um, this is a uh, vintage Banana Republic. Let's see if we can find. Yeah, you can look at that. Look at that old tag. So yeah, this thing's been around for a while, but this is an excellent shape and condition. Um, keep an eye out for these types of old vests like this. Um, the or maybe you find an Orvis one or CC Filson um, stuff like that. These things they bring some pretty good money. Um, yeah, another uh, Wrangler 3X uh, Pearl Snap shirt, tw uh, twenty three forty nine. Um, you know these things are all, these things do really well for me. Um, I love picking these up, and usually you can get them for you know a couple bucks. But yeah, you get them in the big sizes or talls. Um, and if they've got nice color, like I think both of them are blue. I think I have like three of those, a couple blue ones. Um, you know, just good colors, bright colors. You know, people scoop them up pretty quick. 
uh, series of Mumford and Sons, uh, just concert t-shirt, um, nothing crazy. I think I had this in a haul video, um, I believe. I can't remember if I get this on dollar fifty day or I got it uh, when it was like half price, but I don't think I paid more than two dollars for this shirt. So and it's double extra large, eighteen forty nine. Nothing crazy, but just a nice shirt, just something different. I've been picking up a few more concert T-shirts, so I just figured I'd throw that in here. Um, what is this? Oh, this is a J. Crew Slim Fit. Um, it's the only reason I picked this up, and I know I got this on a dollar fifty day. Um, actually, I got two of these shirts. Um, they were sitting right next to each other, same size, so I just scooped them both up. Uh, this one here sold almost as soon as I listed it, and the other one is still up for sale. So, um, you know, I'm happy with twenty one forty nine on a, on a quick flip. I just got to get that other one to sell. The Tommy Bahama. This is a little different. Uh, twenty three forty nine. Nothing crazy. Hundred percent soap. Got real good feedback on this guy. Loved it. Um, this is a pretty good sale here. Um, I bought two of these really nice Brooks Brothers um, Brooks, uh, Country Club vests um, or sweater vests. I guess they're like a cable knit sweater vest. Um, I found these, and I think I, I think I have like six bucks in these two vests. Uh, these sold for forty seven forty nine and buyer paid shipping. But yeah, these are just really really nice uh, cable knit vests. They were sitting right next to each other, so I'm assuming the same person donated them. So, you know, obviously they're the same size, and as you know what, might as well just bundle them together. Uh, somebody wants one, they might they probably want the other one. So, uh, these just sat for a little bit, but, uh, you know, I, I'm sure it's one of those things, too, that, you know, maybe somebody didn't want to, you know, a lot of people found one, but they didn't want the other. I don't know. I'm happy. Either way, they're gone. Okay. This is a really cool shirt. Uh, I know I had this in a haul video. Um, featured this. I love this shirt. This is the Harley Davidson Top Dog. Uh, that's why I grabbed it. And I, I use the keyword uh, cigar. Cigar is always great um, to use for keywords. Uh, a lot of people actually search for cigar stuff. But yeah, Harley and cigar. That's really awesome. And it's an awesome bulldog graphic. This this thing is really, really just a really cool shirt. This is from uh, Galena, uh, Harley Davidson. Uh, in Illinois, yeah, really cool. And this is kind of how I told you I do a lot of these shirts that are dual, you know, dual sided. It's got the uh, graphic on the front, and then you guys can see that it has a back graphic as well, whatever that is. Um, yeah, really nice shirt there. Uh, picked this Trek shirt up. I think I got this half. This was uh, orange tag. So I think they had this marked at seven bucks. Uh, I waited till it went half off, so I paid like three dollars for this shirt. Uh, this is new in tags, and it got uh, twenty-seven forty-nine out of it. Sold relatively pretty quick. Uh, Trek stuff's a really good uh, brand to keep an eye out for. Trek or Bond Trader. Um, I think the two of them are kind of synonymous with each other. Um, definitely, yeah, keep an eye out for Trek stuff. It's Tory Richard. Um, I really like Tory Richard stuff. I like to pick that stuff up. This one went for $23.49, so not too bad. I'm sure the tags. This is an older Tory tag. Um, the new one's kind of a blue. Uh, so here's just a pair of uh, polo jeans. Nothing crazy. There's no polo jeans. It's so, uh, $34.49, dollars uh, it's a nice Harley shirt. Um, now these are just kind of simple basic shirts, but I like to pick up the colored ones instead of the black ones, unless the black ones have something special going on with them. Um, this is this one here was really nice. Um, you can see the back graphic. It's got a uh, it's got the cool alligator and stuff. This is from Sarasota, Florida. Um, the Florida and the Vegas ones seem to do really well. Uh, but eighteen forty nine is pretty much about now what I've been getting out of my basic Harley T-shirt. So nothing crazy. Uh, another Harley is Harley Orlando. It's red. Um, thing looks like in the back. So, yeah. 1849. I just got through. Okay, now this one here, I probably should ask a little more because this one here sold relatively pretty quick. Um, but I like this one. This is a black one, but it had, you know, the wolf, the, e the wolves, and the eagles. Uh, this shirt here was really, really cool. And this was uh, Stubbs Harley in uh, Houston, Texas. So, yeah, really, really cool shirt. And like I said, this one here sold pretty quick. I should have asked a little bit more for this one just because it was a neat graphic. Um, and I think I had that in a haul video. Um, I grabbed this one. It's still, like I said, still pretty much a basic Harley shirt. Um, I don't think this oh, does have a bad graphic. Uh, so, like New Smyrna. So, yeah, well, that's three uh, three Harley shirts all from Florida. 
So like I said, Florida ones do well, Vegas does well, and they had two in there that were from Vegas. Um, like I said, I live in Illinois, so you know pe people travel to those locations and they like to get shirts from there. So, but I like this one. It's black. It's got the old vintage uh, Harley Davidson on it, but it's kind of like that stone washed uh, look to it. So that's partially why I picked that up as well. So anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for uh, most of the clothing I picked out. I'll uh, take and show you some of the shoes that we sold over the past couple months. Tight. Okay, all right, before I get into these, I gotta take another drink, guys. Sorry, guys. <sighs> okay, thanks for uh, hanging in there. I know it's kind of longer videos. All right, these are some of the shoes uh, that I sold. I don't know, there's maybe eight, ten pairs of shoes, maybe that I probably sold uh, over here. And I know I've sold a couple over on Poshmark. Okay, but these here, a uh, pair of. Uh, Little Keen uh, boy shoes. Um, I got these for a dollar at a garage sale. They were in super good shape and condition, so I scooped these up. But you know, these are nice. Keen, man, keep an eye out for Keen anything, whether it's kid stuff, adult stuff, whatever, it always sells really well. But yeah, really nice little pair of uh, little sandals, I guess, boy sandals. And uh, yeah, they paid shipping on these as well, so $20 and they paid shipping, so not too bad. Uh, it's a nice pair of Danskos. Um, I got forty dollars out of those. Uh, Buyer paid shipping. I think we paid four eighty eight for these shoes here. Um, yeah, really nice pair of shoes. Danskos, um, really good brand to keep an eye out for. Actually, I guess these are called. Uh, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about women's shoes. I'm slowly learning, but in you know, learning what brands to uh, pick up. Uh, it's a nice pair of Sass. Sass is a San Antonio shoe company. Um, just a nice little pair of sandals here. Um, I think Sass is more of um, an older, older women's um, type of shoe. Um, I know my grandmother used to wear Sass, so I guess maybe that's why I just associated with older people. Um, but I know they make kind of like orthotic type stuff and what have you. But uh, I, I know they're, I think, a relatively comfortable shoe. So anyway, but I got uh, $28.49 out of those. Plus I paid shipping, and I think we paid about 3 bucks for those. Uh, nice pair of uh, Nike shocks. Um, I used to love these shoes uh, back in the day. These are just really cool, you know, when they came out with the with the shocks. Um, you know, shocks are really. Uh, you guys don't know what the Nike shocks are. They're real distinctive. They got the that's what the uh, kind of the heel looks like. It's got, it looks like it has little shocks on the back. But really nice pair of shoes there. Those were uh, thirty eight forty nine plus buyer paid shipping. And I think I got those for less than five bucks. I think they were all. Um, 488 something like that nice little pair of johnson and murphy's um, these are just kilty tassel loafers um, i've had these for a while obviously you can tell by the uh by the photo background i do my photos a little different for shoes now um but anyway i got a 27.99 out of that plus buyer paid shipping so nothing crazy uh another pair of crocs um these are really nice. These went for what twenty eight forty nine plus buyer paid shipping, and I think I had got these for three bucks. Can't remember if I got these at garage sale or Goodwill. I'd have to actually look, but I know I typically don't. I try on most shoes to get them under five dollars, but I think Crocs a little less, and they're usually pretty light. Um, really nice pair of LL Beans. Um, these I got these sold these for fifty bucks plus buyer paid shipping. Nice little uh, kind of like a boat shoe loafer, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, just a real nice pair of shoes there. Yeah, I really like these. Like I said, I love picking up LL Bean stuff. My local Goodwill. Um, it's hard to touch LL Bean stuff. They usually, uh, as far as shoes, it's kind of weird. They leave the clothes alone, but the LL Bean shoes and boots they usually mark up pretty high. Usually. Uh, I can't touch them for under 15 bucks. They're normally 15 to 20 dollars. Um, nice pair of Brooks. Uh, I just got a return request uh, yesterday for these, uh, and they said that they uh, were filthy. Um, they're just just dirty. Uh, look like they're extremely worn. I, I think somebody bought them, decided they didn't they didn't like them uh, or whatever. But uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, I don't know what dirty, what part of dirty that they got out of these shoes, but uh, this here's a really nice pair of uh, Asics uh, golf shoes. Um, these are actually 
current shoes, you can still buy these shoes. And I think these shoes here sell for about 160 bucks. Uh, I sold these for $58 plus buyer paid shipping. I got two pairs of these. I bought a white one and these black ones. Um, the white ones I actually sold over on Poshmark a while ago, and I think I got around $70 for those over there. Um, on eBay, I got a little bit less, but yeah, really nice, uh, just Asics golf shoes, and I uh, picked up both pair for $4 total, so uh, yeah, I turned about $120 on a nice $4 investment, pretty much, so I was super happy to get these shoes, um, actually both pairs of shoes, so um, really nice there. Um, all right, that's pretty much all the shoes that I sold over the past couple months, um, then we'll jump into uh, my Poshmark sales, if you guys are still hanging on. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, these are my Poshmark sales. Um, I think I got about 20 sales uh, I've had over on Poshmark over the last couple months. So not too bad. Um, you know, not crazy. Um, still average about a sale every other day, uh, every couple day, every couple, every couple three days, something like that. Um, you know, it's definitely not eBay, but you know, and I'm still moving inventory over there, and that's all. You know, that's all that matters. You know, at 20 sales in two months. Uh, like I said, not a lot, but uh, you know what? I'll take it. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, these are some of the things I sold over the past couple of months over on Posh. Um, you know, it's still doing well. Um, sold a few hats, some shoes, pants. You guys will see what all I, I uh, what all I moved over there. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is another uh, hat. Picked this up for a buck. Um, sold it for twenty dollars. Buyer pay shipping over on Posh, of course. So not too bad. You know, I'm I'm happy with twenty dollars a hat. Uh, these here are just a pair of Levi Silver Tabs. I think I got these for around three bucks. Um, that's about my price point where I like to be on jeans is three dollars and under. Um, I got twenty nine bucks out of those. We'll see, buyer paid shipping. I'm super happy with that sale. Uh, oh, this is another pair of uh, golf shoes um, that I was just talking about where I picked up the black ones. Um, yeah, these here went for basically seventy dollars over here on Posh. Um, I got what fifty some over on eBay. Uh, basically. You know, like I said, I got them from the same uh, same individual. So um, these here are uh, really nice shoes. These here sold pretty quick uh, too when I bought them. But uh, yeah, seventy bucks, I'm pretty happy uh, on a two dollar pickup. Nice pair of ping golf shorts. Got thirty dollars out of those. Um, just a nice pleated golf short. Uh, these are what lucky, yeah. These are the lucky brand 181 relax fit, and then uh, the lucky 361 vintage. Them usually do pretty well. Um, they're about the only lucky pick, uh, jeans I pick up is the 361s and the 181s. Uh, but I got like 26 bucks out of those. It's Columbia PFG for whatever reason. I can sell PFG shirts over here on Posh on eBay. Uh, they don't go for very much, but over here on Poshmark, uh, it seems to be about 20 24 dollars. Uh, is going right for these PFG shirts, and they pay shipping over here. We're on uh, eBay. Uh, I'm pretty lucky to get twenty dollars, and with free shipping over on eBay, they go for about fifteen bucks. Seems to be about fifteen to seventeen on average. Um, so definitely happy. I think, I think I've sold three or four of these PFG shirts over here. So I pretty much quit picking them up, and then uh, I've been able to move them over here. So I've kind of started picking them up again. Uh, another pair of Danskos. Um, yeah, these are a little different than the other ones, but still similar. Uh, I got 44 bucks out of those. Just really nice. Uh, I mean, it's like a wedge or whatever. I, like I said, still don't know a whole lot about women's shoes, but I'm learning. Uh, you know, really nice shoe. Uh, it's another Tory Richard shirt. Um, let's see if this one has the newer tag. Yeah, this is okay. I was telling you on the other video about. There was a Tory Richard old tag. This is the newer style Tory tag, so um, really nice here. But and uh, yeah, Tory Richard's really good brand. To keep an eye out for. Got twenty four bucks on that one. Uh, a pair of Harley sunglasses. I got these at a garage sale for a dollar. Um, they sold the day I listed them over here on Posh. Uh, I think I had these listed for twenty four or twenty nine bucks. Uh, guy sent me an offer. Uh, we agreed at nineteen. Um, like I said, the day I put them up there, I only had a dollar into them. Fine, you want to give me 19 bucks? I'm super happy with that. So, uh, you know, I was trying not to get greedy, but you know, and just really nice pair of uh, really nice pair of glasses. Just had a little Harley on, and uh, actually, I don't know if the guy left me a message or whatever. So he was pretty happy with these. Um, and if I ever got any more, to let him know. Uh, and then Patagonia, Patagonia sells really well over here. Actually, I think this one sold the day I listed it. Um, just nice, simple, just Patagonia um, t-shirt. 
This one for 26 bucks, plus the shipping. Um, this here's a Southern Tide flannel shirt. I kind of gave this shirt away. Uh, I think I had this shirt listed over here for around 45 bucks. I think on eBay I had it around 39 something like that. Um, Southern Tide's a great brand to keep an eye out for. Um, this is a really nice flannel shirt, though. Um, that's what the tag looks like if you're not familiar with Southern Tide. But, yeah, really nice shirt. And like I said, I kind of gave this one away, but I was only into this for like $4. So, um, and it might have been one of them times where it had been three, four days. I hadn't had a sale over here. And I was like, you know what, fine. Let's just start moving some stuff. Um, okay, this here's a Tommy Bahama shirt. Um, yeah, I got $10 out of this. Um, reason I got $10 out of this, um, this had a teeny flaw um, right below the neck on the back of the collar where it folds over. There was this teeny little hole. So, I denoted that, and I was like, you know what, for ten bucks, I'll just let it go. I mean, I think I was only into this shirt two or three dollars, so I'm only I made a couple bucks on it, nothing crazy. Um, probably shouldn't have even. Yeah, there you go. You can see where the little hole is. So, um, the guy, you know, they got it. They didn't have any issues. So, uh, ten bucks, ten bucks, whatever. Uh, this is a really nice shirt. This is an O'Neill, um, uh, just short sleeve butt front shirt. O'Neill is like a surfing brand. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with O'Neill, it's kind of what the tag looks like, so you guys keep an eye out for that. Uh, some of the O'Neill stuff sells really well. Uh, a nice pair of Nike golf pants. Um, just really nice pair of uh, golf pants, to be honest. Yeah. And I got like 29 bucks out of those. Nothing crazy, but you know, just steady sales. Um, it's probably the best sale I had over on Posh over the past couple of months. Well, no, the the two pair of shoes, I guess the uh, the golf shoes were really good, and then I sold this pair of Nikes. Um, I picked these up at a garage sale, and I think I paid two dollars for these shoes. It was three dollars max, I know. Um, I was shocked to get these. These are like brand new shoes. These are these are super super awesome. Um, yeah, just kind of kind of crazy shoes, but I got sixty bucks out of those plus they paid shipping. Uh, nice Titleist breast cancer hat. Uh, it's got the breast cancer ribbon on it there. Got 20 bucks out of that. Not too bad. The really nice Tommy Bahama shirt. I got 38 bucks for this one. Uh, this sold in just a couple days of me listing it. Um, just, you know, really nice paisley pattern and stuff like that on there. So, really, really nice shirt. So, I did ask a little bit more because it's just a little, a little more unique and different. Uh, so, Brooks Brothers tie. Nothing crazy, just simple tie. Um, yeah, it's just the uh, Brooks Brothers maker, so real nice tie. Fifteen bucks. I'll take that for a tie all day long. Uh, and then these here, a pair of uh, Lucky Brand ankle boots. Um, we sold these a couple days ago, and these went for what thirty-five bucks. Um, you know, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, you guys would know what Lucky looks like. Lucky does. Lucky actually does pretty well over here on Posh. I just think it's one of those more trendy brands. And then I just sold this uh, yesterday. Um, it's going out uh, on Monday, or well, today, whatever. Uh, it's a really nice uh, Harley Davidson eyeglass case. So yep, I've been selling eyeglass cases over here on Posh. Actually, I think it's about the third eyeglass case I've sold over here. Um, so. These things sell on both platforms, just really nice Harley case. And actually, this one here had, I uh, did show it. Yeah, there's just a little teeny little blemish right there by the bar and shield on the inside, but I didn't uh, dissuade them. But this is kind of like a denim jean material. So, anyway, yeah, got 13 bucks out of that. I'm happy with that. Um, like I said, and buyers paying shipping. So, nothing crazy. I had that listed, I think, for 20 bucks. So, um, they sent me a, an offer for 10. And uh, I came back at 15, and we just settled on 13. So you know, whatever. Like I said, I think I was into this for a, a dollar top. So um, like I said, these things sell uh, super easy and super quick. So anyway, guys, we pop back out of here.